Coco. When you go to pick up Coco, your favorite little dog you've been waiting for, and you get to the litter and you see another one and you end up with two of Coco, let me tell you the pros and cons of that. Hi, I'm Dr. D, vet for everywhere. And today I wanna to talk about getting a puppy. You've planned the puppyhood. You're gonna go pick that puppy up. You've seen pictures all over the place. It's the day you're gonna get them and you go to pick them up and they have another puppy there waiting and gonna be so lonesome if that one leaves and you get sucked into the vortices of two puppies. Let me tell you the pros and cons of that. You are bringing a little wolf into your house and you're gonna transport them into a nice little furry child. How you do that is really simple if you have one. When you have two, you still have the wolf pack. So we have to decrease the bonding of the wolf pack and make sure that they go ahead and bond with you first and then they can have a friend. But they have to get to know you. This is how we handle it. Now if you have a really close friend or relative, don't ask them to do this because they might not be your friend afterwards. Ask somebody to take one of the puppies away for a month or two weeks and switch the puppies so you can get to know your puppy for a couple weeks on a one-on-one -on -one situation where they go, humans are wonderful. I wanna be a furry dog child. So what we do here at the clinic is we take them in to get them spayed or neutered, and then we take care of them for 10 to 12 days. But we don't wanna just be in a clinic. So I have the wonderful person called my practice manager, who is also a mother wolf. <laughs> yeah, she acts like that to me too. So this is little Coco. Coco is here to stay. I don't want to stay in a kennel. So she goes home with my practice manager. She starts training her. She knows a lot about dog training. And so she starts to learn all the options of how to be a human. But then what we do is we bring the other one in, get that one spayed or neutered, and then send it home with Christine and swap. That way you, now you can ask your relatives to do this if you want to, or if you want to be friends with them and close and eat Thanksgiving dinner, I suggest you do something professionally to have them help you. So the next one would stay, stay in a home situation. You get to have one-on-one -on -one time, that little wolf at home. So you can transport it, you can get used to training it, get to know it, but always remember, you're gonna to have to start as a little mother wolf, which is kennel is great, that makes them think it's a a nice little situation of being in a darn den just like they were like a wolf and you're going to transport them into being a furry child. 